All right, so I'm going to show you uh, or let you hear a comparison of the old reeds, these old turn of the 20th century reeds uh, compared to these reproduction reeds, but they go by Dix, D-I-X, and th this, uh, this is probably as close as you're ever going to get. This isn't exact. But I'll compare other notes that have nothing but the old reeds. The, the, uh, button number six uh, on all the reeds on button number six. They ended up for some reason they started going out of tune. And, okay, I'll retune it. And then all of a sudden uh, it kept going out of tune no matter how many times I got it right. So I had to replace them. They were worthless. Uh, so. On this, this one, I've got nothing but Dix reeds, right? Now here's nothing but the old globe reeds. That's got a hell of a better bite to it. But... For some reason I don't know why maybe what I'll do is maybe tune off the high read just a slight slight bit because that'll get it closer to sounding old yeah so that's what that is so but when playing with chords and playing you know like octaves That's what that is, Dix compared to the old reeds on the treble side. On the bass side, I really think they sound good. Uh, I have one benchy reed for this bass note. It's a big, the big note. Because the, uh, I don't know, the reproduction big note was just a piece of, you know, those old reeds, uh, bass reeds are nasty. It does have two reproduction, the mid and the high for this note, back and forth. But the bass read, the big read is benchy. But yeah, it doesn't sound too bad, does it? It's alright. Anyway, I uh, hope that was interesting. Maybe not. Uh, have a good one.